Today I'll show you how to mod LGA775 to 771. Many people encounter problems with it and I will show you why and how. Okay, so this is Asus P5B with the socket LGA775. This one is already modded, so I will not show you, let's say, live. But as you can see, here and here, we had those uh, tiny things which has to be cut out. But uh, as I encountered problem yesterday with this um, with this socket, I got imagined why many people have problems uh, despite having those cutting out. So there's another problem. Uh, on my SSP uh, 5Q Deluxe, I didn't have this problem, but on this socket I did. Uh, here is the line where the CPU is lying, and here is the part where the sticker is. And there's a, let's say, a belt of this socket where the sticker is. The part of the sticker which is on the, <coughs> let's say, an edge of the CPU. So what I had to do is to a little bit under the angle cutting out this belt so the whole CPU would be lying greatly and firmly on the, on the socket. After cutting this out I had no problems. But before I cut those uh, two parts and uh, the CPU wouldn't start. So what I'm uh, telling you is after cutting out those two things from the socket you might be willing to cut out a part of this belt where the sticker is on the edge of the CPU. When you cut it out probably the CPU will lie much more firmly on the tiny legs of the of the socket. That's all what I wanted to say. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.